Life turning pages, night turning day. I'm tired of waiting. I gotta make What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, sir. And today we got to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers because we cannot catch a break when it comes to injuries, when it comes to protocol, when it comes to nothing. But before we get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you already subscribed to my channel, I need you to share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because with y'all, I know I get there. And don't forget to smash that like button, too. You know what I'm saying? I kind of botched the intro, but you got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, though, let's talk about these calves. Now, unfortunately, we got to talk about Ricky Rubio because we just found out that Ricky Rubio is out for the remaining of the season because he got an ACL, right? And I wish Ricky Rubio the best, but this is a huge blow for the Cleveland Cavaliers because anybody that's been watching the Cavs, Rubio has been one of the generals in our offense, right? And then we also missed out on Darius Garland because of protocol, which was another big hit, which played a factor in why we lost to the New Orleans Pelicans, a game we should have captured. You get what I'm saying? And right now, I think a lot of Cavs fans is starting to get a little sad because we're facing some legitimate adversity, right? Last season, we kind of we suffered the exact same thing where a lot of injuries was happening at the wrong time. But I do think we can overcome this, right? I do think the Cleveland Cavaliers still have a chance to make some moves in order to make sure we still capture a playoff spot and because we're we're gonna get Darius Garland back at some point. You get what I'm saying? It's just Ricky Rubio, we're not gonna get this season, right? And it's unfortunate because we hope it, we're hoping that that wasn't the last game we've seen of Ricky Rubio, right? Because honestly, sincerely, we could use Ricky Rubio on our team for that veteran leadership and his talents, right? He really complimented the Cleveland Cavalier roster and what we were trying to build here, right? So it's a lot of things I think Kobe Altman has to decide as well as the team and JB Biggerstaff has to decide in terms of development, who we should target and do we need another piece to step up, you get what I'm saying, et cetera. Because right now, the cast is in desperate need of a player, right? And especially when it comes to guards, right? And I'm pretty sure we're probably going to sign somebody if we haven't already did. But right now, the loss of Rubio and, and DJ and DJ Garland, Darius Garland is really going to hurt us. You get what I'm saying? This is really going to hurt us this week and next week. You get what I'm saying? Because those are two of our centerpieces, two of our generals. You get what I'm saying? So the offense might be a little more sluggish, right? But we will see in, you know, the future games. But this will be a tough two weeks. You get what I'm saying? For sure, if you're a Cleveland Cavalier fan. Now, I guess on some good news, on some positive news, um, I guess we can talk about those rumors of Ben Simmons coming to Cleveland, uh, possibly getting traded here, right? And I know Antonio, uh, if y'all have watched my podcast, y'all know about Antonio. Um... He's been wanting Ben Simmons on Cleveland or having the opportunity to have Ben Simmons on the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Because he felt like he's another playmaker we can use as well as a as a big wing that we can use for the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? I've been kind of optimistic now, um, mainly because of the fit, mainly because I was under the assumption of Rubio healthy, DG, uh, Darius Garland being healthy, you get what I'm saying? And now with the news of Ricky Rubio being out for the season, it changes a lot of things, right? I'm still a little skeptical when it comes to Ben Simmons on the Cleveland Cavaliers, not as a player. I do I do understand he has to improve on the shooter, but for the Cavaliers roster when we're already a team that's kind of struggling offensively, um, I don't think Ben Simmons truly complement our roster. De defensively, he complements that to a T. We actually, we might be literally number one defense with Ben Simmons but offensively I don't think he does his justice which is what we have to answer you get what I'm saying and uh, right now uh, I think Ben Simmons could be an option right especially if he develops I don't know what he's been doing since he hasn't played maybe he has been developing that shot his offense I'm not sure but me as a Cleveland fan right me as a Cavs fan me as somebody who really like basketball I just don't know about the fit right um I know y'all probably will tell me down in the comments if this makes sense for us uh, if this makes sense you know from a long term or short term you know I know y'all justify that tell me you know tell me y'all criticism about this but I'm just not sure right and um probably the next podcast you see or well, if I do with D'Lo sometime uh, we're probably going to touch on the Ben Simmons fit and if that works for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But like I said, for me personally, I'm I'm just not sure. All right. I'm not sure if Ben Simmons really, truly compliments the Cavaliers long term. You get what I'm saying? And realistically, I see us having to give up maybe 
Laurie Markkinen and another piece. You get what I'm saying? But I mean, they might really want Laurie Markkinen and Colin Sexton, but that gets kind of tricky. You get what I'm saying? So, um, I think this is a video I have to go more in depth on <laughs> on another day. But right now, I just want to hear y'all down in the comments and tell me if y'all think Ben Simmons should be somebody we should pursue now that Ricky Rubio is out for the season. And of course, <laughs> of course, I have to talk about JB Bickerstaff because I didn't touch on this on any other video, including the podcast videos I've dropped earlier this week. Um, congratulations, JB, man, because you deserved it. He deserved this contract extension for sure, right? I know a lot of people at first was kind of hesitant on JB Bickerstaff, but the things I've seen from JB Bickerstaff, I really like what he does, especially defensively, right? Because who would have ever think he would have the Cleveland Cavaliers with a defensive presence, right? Like who would ever think Cleveland would have a defensive identity, right? Not me, but we've seen it firsthand, right? Now, yes, he does need work on his offense. I think he's going to do that as his players develop and as Kobe Altman gives him some better offensive players, you know, but right now we have to give JB Bickerstaff his flowers as the Cleveland Cavaliers has done with this contract extension and i would like to congratulate jb bickerstaff for this because he earned it right so down in the comments below let me know how y'all feel about jb bickerstaff how y'all feel about the the news of ricky rubio not being able to play for the rest of the season and if the cleveland cavaliers should pursue ben simmons That's Atlantis with that money.